How do you set up your virtual COM ports? You've got the new ICOM IC7610 and you've got two virtual serial ports. How do you know which one's A? How do you know which one's B? And how do you use it? First, let me apologize for the glare on the LCD. It's a flashy LCD screen and I've got sun coming in my window. The first thing you want to do before connecting your PC to the 7610 is of course go to ICOM and download their driver. Uh, install that driver and then connect your USB cable. And when you connect it you'll see that you have two virtual serial ports. And I have renumbered mine. I've got four and five. And you can uh, go in and change the number if you want. Uh, there's no need to. I just changed mine to something more familiar. Uh, the, this one here is port A on the ICOM 7610. And this one is port B on the ICOM 7610 and the internal settings. So let me show you on the 7610. I'm going to hit the menu button. Go to set connectors and down to USB send keying. At the top, USB send, USB 1, A, RTS. And that is COM4. And let me show you how to tell which one is A and which one is B. Double click on it. Double click on the top one that you have. Go over to events. And take a look at the information. Towards the end, you'll see 7610, and that's your serial number, and this is the port A. Click OK and go to the next one. Look at events. There's my serial number, and this is port B. Okay, so COM5 is port B. So if I look on the radio and I want to use that, that port B, I can use it for CW keying and RIDI keying, and that's what I've done. This is different than in my first video. I wasn't using the second COM port, COM5, on my PC. So this is different. This used to say A and A. I was just using the one. So now I'm using port A, still for RTS, port B for DTR, uh, CW keying. And again, port B DTR for Ridi King. And let me show you what it looks like in software like N1MM Logger Plus. Okay, now that you've got the virtual serial ports configured, you may ask, well, what can you do with it? In N1MM Logger, what you can do is send Ridi FSK. And you can also send CW. In addition, you're able to view the spectrum monitor in N1MM Logger. I'll do more videos and go into more detail on how this is set up. But for now, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends. 73 and good DX.